Hello again, so in this video I'll be showing you how to backtest a strategy using AmiBroker. Now obviously if you're new to AmiBroker the first thing that you'll need is data. So you can get data from a variety of different sources. Some of it is paid, some of it is free. Now for the purposes of this video I'll be showing you how to download some free data uh, into a AmiBroker watch list. But I think that ultimately further down the line you probably are going to want to pay for a premium data provider and there are a number of reasons why you would want to pay uh, for me personally the main reasons are that you can get delisted stocks and also you can get survivorship bias free databases uh, which relate to certain indexes and what I mean by that is say for example you want to backtest a strategy which only trades S&P 500 stocks some premium data providers such as the one I'm using which is Norgate premium well they will populate your S&P 500 watch list with time-stamped historical constituents. So that means, uh, let's say you have a strategy, you're testing it in 2012. If your rule is to only buy S&P 500 stocks, then your test will only allow you to buy S&P 500 stocks if they belong to the index at the time of the trade during your test. And that's obviously very useful because otherwise any back test that you run will have a survivorship bias. For now though, let's just download some free end of day data. So to do that, there are a couple of ways, but perhaps the most easy one is to simply use the AmiQuote tool which AmiBroker provides. So if you just open up your AmiQuote and then we'll use the Yahoo historical data and then in the from drop down box here, We'll download the data from January 2005 and it should automatically be set up to download to the most recent day. The next thing we need to do is to tell AmiBroker which stocks we want to download. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that uh, you can quite quickly download all of the current S&P 500 stocks if you want by copy and pasting an entire list of tickers into AmiQuote. Um, so if you'd like to do that, then quickly watch that video and find out how to. But for now, just click the little yellow plus sign here, which is the add tickers option. And we're just going to download the data for maybe 10 stocks. So we'll go Apple, Netflix, IBM, GE, MMM, AEP, M, NBL, ROP, and we'll do KSU. So if you just click OK, now the next thing that we'll want to do is to save this list so we can then put each of these tickers into a watch list within Amri Broker. So if you just click File, Save As. So I'm just going to call this my test tickers. Click Save. Then if you come back to Amri Broker, click Symbols, and then go up to the Symbol option in the main menu. Scroll down to Watch List. We'll type New Watch List. And again, we'll just call this our test tickers. Click OK. And then if you open up this watch list folder, you'll see at the bottom you have a test tickers folder. So then if you right click that uh, watch list that you just created and then click the import button, select the watch list from this menu here. So test tickers, click OK. And then you just want to locate that file that you just saved. So we saved ours to the desktop and it was called test tickers. So there is the file, just select it and then click open. And there you can see that the watch list contains each of those stocks. Now at the moment you won't have actually downloaded the data. So the charts will be empty. So just come back to AmiQuote. And if you click the start download button, the data for each of your ticker symbols will be downloaded. If you come into your Ami broker and select the tickers from your watch list, you will see that they all contain the relevant data. Okay, so now that you've got that watch list ready, you can begin to test some strategies. So the first thing you'll want to do is at the top of the Ami Broker workstation here, you can just press the plus button and then select new analysis. And then you can open the analysis tab. We're going to test a portfolio strategy on that watch list that we just created. So the first thing we'll do is to define the filter. So in the filter settings, we're going to select the watch list. 
in our case it's called test tickers click OK the next thing that we may want to do is to select the date range so we're going to test from the 1st of January 2005 until the present day and also we might like to change some settings so we're going to make sure that our positions are long only we're using a daily periodicity so that just simply means that we're trading from daily data we can set our commissions so basically they will replicate those available with interactive brokers obviously if you've got a different broker a uh, different fee structure then you would want to replicate that within these settings and we're not going to be using any margin for this particular example so make sure that in the account margin box here you've just got 100 okay so the next thing that you're going to want to do is to actually create your backtest script so if you come up to the top right hand corner here you'll see the formula editor button so just click on that and then ignore these that I've already got here so if you just click the plus tab to open a new formula and we're going to call this our test tickers strategy and then we need to put in the rules of our strategy within the formula editor now to keep this video relatively short I have simply copied and pasted the formula which will allow us to test the breakout strategy from my first book now if you haven't already got this formula then you're welcome to shoot me an email and I can send it to you but for the purposes of this example really you can use any formula that you find online so long as you have the relevant options and buy and sell rules so once you have that formula within your editor if you click this analysis button and then that will send the formula into the formula bar here and then if you select back test the strategy will be tested on all of the stocks belonging to that watch list we created between the dates that we set before running the test so if we just select a trade from the list we'll look at the most profitable trade so Netflix return 92% if we just right click on Netflix and then click the show current trade arrows option if you then come to your chart we can see that particular trade so you can see there's a green arrow here for the day that we entered and we can also see the trading stop loss and we can see that we exited the trade up here and that's signified by the red arrow and you can also see on these charts that the buy criteria from the breakout strategy were all valid so we've got the orange moving average which is the 40 day is above the blue moving average which is the 120 day we also have the upper donchian channel so that's set at 40 days and we can see that on this particular candle here we closed above the 40 day high so then we bought this stock on the next day's open and then we simply used a trailing stop loss which uh, eventually got us out of the trade up here now the next thing that you might want to do after running a test is obviously look at the report so again on the analysis tab just click the report button and then you have the report you can look at some charts such as the equity curve underwater equity chart a monthly breakdown of profits you can look at more customizable charts such as rolling returns so for example in this particular chart here it tells us the rolling three-year returns of the market and then our strategy and then you've got some further data to analyze such as a profit distribution graph and the maximum adverse and favorable excursion distribution graphs now that's how you test a portfolio of stocks if you want to test just a single issue then select the stock that you want to test in your chart tab so we're just simply going to test on ROP so open the ROP ticker and then if you come back to analysis in the apply to drop down box here if you select current it means that you're only going to test your strategy on a single ticker and it will be the ticker that you just selected so you can see here the ROP has been a favorable stock to trade using those daily breakout strategy rules and just very quickly if you do want to create a very simple strategy again just open a new formula tab call it your test strategy 2 the first thing you want to do is to set up the backtest environment so first of all we're going to use one day trade delays so that simply means whenever there's a buy or a sell signal 
trades will be executed on the following open or at the close, whatever it may be. We'll set that up afterwards. But we're going to use trade delays of one. Our initial equity is going to be $50,000. The maximum positions we're allowed is going to be five. We're also going to use the set option allow same bar exit and we're going to set that to false because we're using one day trade delays. We should not be able to enter and exit a position on the same day. And we're also not allowed to shrink the size of positions. So what that means is if say for example you've got a $50,000 account you can buy five stocks but your position sizing algorithm means that you buy $40,000 worth of one stock. If you have a signal in a second stock which is then more than $10,000 if you set allow position shrinking to true then you will simply buy $10,000 worth of that second stock. If you set it to false, because you can't buy the entire position according to your rules, you simply won't buy it at all. And then we need to create our buy rules. So you just type in buy equals, and we're just going to use a simple short term over sold indicator. So we'll use the RSI2 indicator, and we want that to cross beneath 20 so we just type in cross 20 comma RSI 2 and then use the semicolon to end the statement and then our sell rule is going to be an RSI 2 value crossing above 50 so again we type in cross RSI 2 comma 50 semicolon to end the statement our buy price and our sell price is going to be the open so that means whenever we get a buy signal we're using a set trade delay of one so we'll get a buy signal and then we will actually buy the stock at the next day's open and then when we have a sell signal we will sell the stock at the next day's open so again, if you send this to your analysis tab, we're just going to test it on a single issue again. So we're going to apply it to the current ticker, which is selected in your chart tab. Again, make sure you've selected the date range that you want to test and then click the back test button. Now, if, you, if you've noticed, each of these position values is $50,000. So, and that's because I've forgotten to show you perhaps one of the more important things you'll need to do, which is to set your position size. So to do that, just come back to your formula and then type in set position size, open the brackets, and then there are a variety of different ways that you can set your position size. But again, let's just keep things simple. Each of our positions is simply going to be 10% of available equity. So if you type in 10, that'll be the size, comma, and then the method. So if we type in SPS percent of equity, close the brackets and use a semicolon to end the statement. So this now means that 10% of available equity will be allocated to each position. So again, click the analysis tab, run the back test, and now you can see, if you remember, we started with $50,000, so that first position, which was 10% of available equity, was $5,000. Then again, you can look at a back test report, look at the performance charts, and so on. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email. But for now, thanks for watching and take care.